All right, we now have uh, the Louisville Courier Journal here locally, the first uh, to definitively report that Louisville will in fact hire Appalachian State Scott Satterfield to be its next head football coach. I'm really happy about the hire because we are just knocking on the door. He's going to be hungry. Hungry coaches are the ones that do well here. I think he is the right person with the right skill set. He was a walk-on football player, had to prove the fact that he was worthy of a scholarship. He constantly proved himself as a coach. App State wins it, their first ever bowl game. First bowl game, and to win the game, unbelievable. Now, Satterfield certainly arrives with a resume of his own. You will remember this forever. And what you guys went out there and did, legendary, man. Yeah. Yeah. So the question immediately becomes, Who's going to make up the coaching staff here at Louisville? How many, if any, uh, uh, at all, of his current assistants at App State will he bring with him? Will he bring some of the young up-and-coming guys? Bring it on! They're trying to run. There you go. Nice. No quit. You can't quit. Everything that we're going to do here, we're going to compete for championships. You guys didn't pick me, but I picked you guys. And I picked this program because I believe in it. I believe that it can be the best in the country. man it's, it's go time now it's uh, we get to do some ball all right so it's gonna be fun what we're gonna do everybody's gonna have their notebooks don't you guys take notes when these guys are up here we're giving an opportunity for one of our family members right here to come up here and speak to you guys all right and to be honest to be real come up here and address what does land for Louisville mean to me is it brotherhood is it family what is it for me coaching because we'll have a coach get up here and speak as well I want you guys to, to really get in their heart too you know why they here what makes them tick okay all right, Coach Jones, here we go. I want to thank uh, Coach Satterfield for giving me this opportunity. I do know this right here, men. If you're willing to pay the price, you'll be champions. I come here for one reason. It ain't money. I don't need no money. I needed something more. I need my, I need my family my coach's family that I've been with. Those guys know me. They know what I'm about. They know they can trust me. It's what life's about. Coach talks about this all the time. What matters, okay? Matters what we do right here. Nobody outside. We're family. That's what matters. It's you, it's you, it's you, it's me. Being together. It's us. You know, the one thing that bothers me, I, I have yet to hear us say what we want. What we want. And heard us say, let's go win a championship. I'm here to win. Just being a part of something, that ain't enough. Part of it, part of it. Part of it, I go out here, half the guys bust their ass, some don't. Man, what is it? What are you willing to give up? The thing I love more than anything in this world was my daughter. I left for the opportunity to go do it, come here. So don't tell me I'm not committed to you or I don't have it in me, because I am. I come here for one reason, man. I want to win, and I want you to win too. That's all I know. I'm going to leave you with this. I've been part of 15 championships, more than half of the years I've coached. I've seen the teams in this league. They are no better than we are. Why can't we turn this damn thing around and go 10 and 2? Why? You tell me. The reason we won't, okay, is we ain't got enough won't in us. It's gonna take one thing, one thing, man, right here. And that's a family, okay? It's not there, it's there. Everybody tied together. Thank you, Coach.
Appreciate that, Coach Jones. Not anybody else you'll meet that has more passion than Coach Jones. You guys got a little taste of that right there. The last thing I'll share with you is we I talk to you about this a lot is control what you can control. If you can't control it, don't worry about it. What you can control is your attitude, your effort, showing up every day, showing up on time, being a great teammate. There's 11 guys on the field, I'm playing for the other 10. When you do that, you're going to have more accolades than you ever thought about doing. If all I focus on is myself, I got to get mine, we're not going to be very good. Do it for the other guys. I'm playing for my brothers, man. I don't want to let my brothers down. That's what you can control. Control that. We've all sacrificed to be here where we are right now, this moment and this time. And like Coach Jones said, the only way we can to be successful is pulling each other up when it gets hard. If you take it to heart, you'll learn a lot. And we'll be really freaking good. Get a great night's sleep. See you guys tomorrow. Well, I think, you know, when you take a new job, you know, for us, the big challenge was I had really didn't know anything about Louisville. You know, I, I had been at FIU. We came and played Louisville one time, and I've been here for a coaches convention. That's it. So I really hadn't even been to the city of Louisville. So just the challenge of knowing people um, and knowing who do I need to call and who I need to talk to, that's, that's hard in itself. And then just trying to learn the players, learn where we are right now as a program, and then how to attack that. Get your mind right! 73. He looks like the part, don't he? He, look, he looks like they look in the league, don't he? Yeah. The first impression was nervous because we, we're not used to them. And these, these, these are the coaches that didn't recruit us, so we have to buy in because, like, we're, it's something new. The linebackers are pretty good. The linebackers are pretty good. There it is! I was in as soon as we started because I know we just had to. A change was what we needed. Last year, it really showed me that like when guys aren't all in, it can easily go down here. Yeah, not bad. The receiver's not bad. Seven. They say he's a draftable kid, and he's going to be a junior. Uh, Fitzpatrick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Fitzpatrick. That's Fitzpatrick, yeah. What I like about the staff is the practices are just amped up. No, give me somebody else. Somebody your own size. Let's go. Come here. Give me a slide first slot. Here we go. Ready. Work, work, work. I need defense to work more. He ain't want nothing to be. He, he was scared for your life. Last year was my first year playing receiver, and I transferred from quarterback to receiver. So once I get that down pat, I'm still working on it right now. I'll be rock and roll, ready to go. Back down stem, back down stem, back down stem. Good. Toot toot, man. We call him toot toot. Five, eight, 155. Fast as heck, legit. Great hands and he's willing to block his, as small as he is, he's willing to go put his head in there for his teammates, so I respect that. Self, self act like a dad. Better stop touching my towel. Come on. I'm in your mouth. I'm in your mouth. What's wrong with you, man? I feel like Seth is the leader of our group. His strength is maturity. I've always been a guy to do all the right things and just like work silent. It's my senior year. So I wanted to work on just being a more vocal leader. Ball, Puma. Catch, boy. Hey, Fitz. Ha! There's no right answer with our offense, I feel like. There's no way that they can stop 2-2 Seth and I at all. Touchdown, throw it up, touchdown. That's what Coach Satterfield is trying to jam in our heads. Like, whatever he expects from us, that's what we have to do. Yeah. He looks like you're out. Yeah, exactly. He does. You're right. Yeah, you're exactly right. From day one, I definitely remember just buying in and, and, and letting my guard down, you know, and, and trusting the coach set. It's a great coach, a great offensive mind, great play caller. He aggressive. I like that about him. He aggressive. Yeah, don't be about it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. <laughs> This is a great staff for us because we needed discipline. And they've been disciplining us ever since the first day. Catch fire. Catch fire. Too high, too high. Hey, hey, next time you're going to get your ball. If you guys miss the damn name, go get your own damn ball. That's awful. There's definitely a plan for Malik, and there's definitely a plan for Jawan. So, you know, we're happy with both guys. But with that being said, competition is still alive, and, and they'll continue to compete going into our first game.
Now they're, they're uniquely different. You know, Malik's 5'11", 190, Puma's 6'4", 235. I mean, one is really big and one is not as big, but, but they both bring a lot to the table. Malik, I'm telling you, he is lightning quick, fast. Ooh, ooh. You know, he can move around on the perimeter. He can make plays out, out in space. And then, um, and then Puma stands tall in there. He makes some plays, good plays, good ball. He had some good balls today on hit through. He throws it, he throws it yeah. good. Starting to get a little confidence, which is great. And he's having fun, looks like. <laughs> it's a good competition. I know he know that he got to do something to stand out for them. I know I got to do something to stand out, but in the end of the day, it's still all love. Oh. 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 Man, Poom be together all the time. Some people might think we're against each other just because of that. Nah, that's like my big brother. He look up to me, I look up to him. I always took him up under my wings, you know, trying to teach him everything I know, give him all the knowledge I got, and um, it's been vice versa. I'm really proud of how they bounced off of each other and competed. It's going to be fun to watch the battle as we head throughout August camp and then leading up to our first game, you know, of which guy will take the reins. One, two, three, one, two, three QBs. This time of your life is the best time of your life. If you're getting to play Division I football in the ACC, you're playing with your brothers beside, this is the best time of your life right here. Enjoy it, embrace it. You can't have a down day, you can't be like this. You gotta bring it every day. You gotta bring it every day. You can have a great attitude and great effort every day. Now, you may the, the practice may not be as like you want it every day, but as long as you have a good attitude and a good effort, you're gonna be more consistent, okay? That's what we gotta have. Cause you got a lot of ability right here. A lot of guys got a lot of ability out here, man. You can play this game for a while, and you can really help us win championships. And that's what we're all about. So take, put that in, your, in perspective, okay, of where you're at right now and enjoy this opportunity because this is what you got, a great opportunity. Put the ball down, let's play ball. That's your mentality, okay? Anytime you know, you're new and you're trying to establish something, then people have to believe in it. And for us, you know, we start out with attitude and effort. Come in here ready to work every single day. Both of those things take zero talent. When you come every day and give 100%, give it all you got, you're going to be good here. All right, boys. Our philosophy, one kick 10,000 times, right? We're going to keep doing it over and over until we can't get it wrong. Go. Set your feet, temple, temple, temple. It's like playing a video game. Press the A button, press the B button. You know, that's the way it works. We make it happen every time, okay? Everybody good? All right. Attitude and effort. That's what I feel like we need in our receiver group. Here we go, freak time. Lock it in, here we go. So, Money, talk to me. You started to go there. It's not quite the effort we like, but at least you're going there, you got me? We gotta have a better day and more leadership coming out the gate, all right? I don't know what to tell you. I mean, there's a lot of great revivals around here. We can set up a tent, okay, and, and bring you to the Lord. That's great. I'm all for it, but not right here. You got to train yourself to do the right thing, not some of the time, but all the time. Only you can change what you want to do. I can only help coach you. Once we have attitude and effort, the sky's the limit for this football program. We hit one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Championship effort. I want you loud and violent. Not every ordinary person can do what we do. We ask these kids to work at a high level every single day. So it takes great attitude and great effort to do that. Is that right on three? One, two, three. Yeah. Right. Woke up six in the morning, yawning, thinking to myself, what in the world am I doing? Come on, come on. Oh, the greatest of all oh, time. I ain't living oh, day. Yeah, Mike, he would expect us to attack it every day, so that's what we do. Guys come with juice, energy, and we just get everything we got. Go to see Caban act like a five-year-old. He brings energy every day. Even when we go out there and we're running gases, he's making sure he brings attitude and effort. It's time to go. Call him out. With a coach like Coach Mike in our ear every day. You want to be the guy you talk about, go do it. Oh, yeah, Coach. Those type of guys in our program, are not gonna allow us to be two and ten. We're doing way more than any other school, I'm telling you now. Yeah. We got something to prove. We are doing this job because we care about these kids. And the most powerful word for us is the family. Oh, he grabbed Good job, y'all, boy. Come out here with the right mindset. Family on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah.
we've always believed in treating our players as if they're our kids. You know, our first thing was to put our arm around and tell them, hey, we care about you, we want the best for you, and, and here's how we're going to do this. You know, right off the bat, we took them all paintballing to establish that culture that we're talking about. You see Cosette, he's probably 40 plus years old. You just like, you know, you're amazing. Like, it's motivating me to be a better person, a better player, a better parent, a better student of the game. I think that's important for every team. They be all the family then, you out there playing like, like it's your brother. Pete, where are you going? I'm charging Kavon and Haycraft. Tag Mike! I got you, man! to have that dish, that bond that those guys know that we'll do anything for them. And when they realize that, man, the sky's the limit and they'll run through a brick wall for you. When it gets crunch time, you can believe and trust in the guys beside you. And I think that's all we're creating. We do this, man. We do this. Knock them out when I get here, man. Let's do it. <laughs> Whatever we can do to play with these guys, we want to do it. And just to show that we're real, that everything we're doing is competition. A lot of teams, they'll, they'll put on shirts and has family across the chest, but I think that when you really get around us and our staff, I think you really can sense it and you can feel it. I really love our staff. Not, not only are they excellent football coaches, but they're great people. Um, th these are kind of people that you want to hang out with. You know, one of the main things we do is play basketball. Noon hoops. We got a big guy today, that's good. We got D-Wade in the house. <laughs> Most of the staff has been together for the last seven years. So we, we've been doing that for a long time. Get that ball off your hip, Frankie P. Hard. One. I just think it's great as a head coach, I mean, that, that you got camaraderie between your guys. And any time that you can spend together outside of football really helps, I think, on the football field. Hey. Oh, yeah. Come on, big fella. <laughs> yes, sir. That's terrible defense. Gotta pin that on the backboard. When's the last time you played basketball? Back at uh, Marion High School. Who talks the most trash? Coach Sad talk a good bit. <laughs> That's for you, B. You like That's that? for you. He get it talking to me. It's on and popping in. There she go. There she go. <laughs> I like them high-arc shots. Yeah, go! This Chevy right here is leaking some oil right here. No, go away, go away, go away, go away. The Wayne Wade's on over there. Hey! hey. D-Wade. I want Snowbird and he shot the ball, I went gone. Top man got to get back. Yeah. Hey, two three, two three. You look like a two three kind of guy. <laughs> get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Yes, sir. Let Billy, where you at? Who blocked my shot just then? Right, right there. Right there. We love the game, man. We go after it, and uh, uh, but if you're on Coach Sat team, you may get a little bit more calls than the opposite team. <laughs> left, left, left. Good hand, e. Good hand e. We have a lot of fun, and, and that's what it's all about. You know, having fun with each other. Everybody has a common goal. And then when it's, when it's go time, we're going to compete our tails off to go get it bank, done. Bank, bank, Money in the bank. Corner, corner, corner. Stop ball. Woo! Ball game. Offense one. Good job, Dwayne. Oh, I'm tired now. Hit that run on this fine morning. They want us to be a player-led team, so the leader's role is really is really everything. After we do uh, workouts, we go out there, try to help each other learn the defenses better. The offense helps learn the offense better. Hey, who, what y'all got going? Hold on, we ain't got no call sheet yet. Hey, y'all need to hurry up, bro. Hey, bro, in the game, y'all can't tell them for how long. Hey. Yeah. Corner. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? You act like I ain't just
did get it yesterday. Dory has the same thing. I should have did it again. We make things fun because the training is hard what we do. So we lead each other. <laughs> I be thugging on it. If the team see you knowing what you're doing, they can see that, okay, Malik know what he's doing. They show that you really care and like you want to win. All the hard work from the summer and the spring and that chemistry that you've created and built, it's all coming down to this August. What kind of team are you going to have? What's going to be my role as a player and as a coach? And then how can I execute that role to the fullest? That's what it's all about at fall camp and you better be ready to go. Listen, we gotta be held accountable, all right? We gotta play hard, we gotta take care of the football. Great day today, baby. It get better, man. It'll be perfect. All of us, hey, always be perfect. Let's work, come on. When people come into that stadium, they're gonna notice you guys' style and how you play. But it doesn't happen on game day. It happens every day we step out here. Hey, get on the ball, get on the ball, get on the ball. Attack, attack! That's perfect, that's perfect, nice job. Yeah, there it is, there it is. Good ball, nice ball. Hey, those are power five passes right there. Woo! All right, let's go, let's go. Here's where you find out what kind of quarterback you are, what kind of accuracy you have, because the net does not go get the ball for you. Come on, come on. Put the ball where you want to put the ball. No, you always threw them. That's a little bit better. At least you hit the net. The net is the best receiver there is because it forces you to be great. Ark it, ark it. There you go. Very nice. We got to give the receiver a chance, gentlemen. Give him a chance. Let him play football. There you go. Nice. <laughs> there you go. There you go. OK, we got a chance. We got a chance, Puma. Don't aim, just throw it. There it is. There you go. Good. Atta boy. Good job. Hey, don't be scared to be great. We are what we put on film now. We are what we put on film. Hey, communicate now. Communicate. Here we go. Here we go. Sense of urgency now. Go fast. Come right here. Come right here. Come right here. Toes, 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 toes. Come on! Nobody gets close to our quarterback! Yo, I'm Malik Hemet. I can't tell. Malik covers his knee right there. Hyper extended it. Well, he's walking right now with hurt his knee. Yeah, he's over there heading to the train. Unbelievable. When it first happened, yeah, I was scared. Honestly, like, this is my first time being, like, hurt for real. So when it happened, I was just trying not to, like, like lose it for real. I was dropping back, looking to the right. The linebacker from the left, he, like, came in front of me, and, like, we bumped knees. And then they say, you know, I was on the ground. It was, like, a free accident. I knew I was hurting, but I could still, like, run on it and move a little bit. And so when I was trying, like, I know I could, it was limp, I was a little limited. And so um, when I tried to run, I could feel like a little, a little limp. God makes no mistakes. So everything happens for a reason. And so um, this injury is not like a setback. I'll be good in no time. practice health-wise, how are the guys? And it looked like Malik was slumping a little bit. Just Yeah, Malik, he did. He um, he tweaked his knee this week. We want to be a precautionary with him because he's in great physical shape. He's made a lot of great plays. Um, so he's going to be a guy that we'll take our time. I don't know the timetable when he'll be back, but, but he'll be back soon, hopefully, because he's going to be in the mix between him and Poom and Evan, those three guys. All three have to be ready to play at all times because we all know how quickly um, something can happen to a quarterback and then the next guy's going to be just as good. So we'll take him, you know, day by day and, and hopefully he'll continue to get better. Man, fall camp, it gets rough sometimes. I ain't talked to my family in a long time. I ain't, I ain't seen my daughter in a long time, man. I'm just like, man. 
Lele. Hi. Okay. You don't want to talk to me? <laughs> It's okay. I have a, a two-year-old daughter, Leilani. A, B, C, A, B, C, D. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! I live an hour and a half away. It's been tough, of course. You know, just not being able to be there all the time. Daddy finger, daddy finger, where are you? Oh, are you tired? I know that it's a blessed opportunity just to be able to go out there and play a game of football, but you can't buy back time. So that's what really hurts the most sometimes. Bye, Nini. Bye. Okay, dude, <laughs> bye. She don't want to talk no more. Great communication there. CJ comes downhill as good as I've ever seen. Beautiful. Coach Dale Jones, he's a legend. I mean, he's been going through film with guys probably about easily longer than I've been alive. So like, he's not really one of those guys to just be all yelling and get all hyper during film. I like, I like the way we're being aggressive and going attack and, and going. Now, the one thing you got to do a better job right here is get better with our hands. All right? If I'll always defeat the blocker, I'll always make the play. Okay? Whip him first. You understand what we're doing. Now we got to play faster. We got to play faster. When the staff first got here as players, we'd always talk about how genuine and, and real we thought that they were. And we was just wondering, like, coming into camp, that maybe they're going to change up. Maybe that's when they're actually going to show who they really are but the coaches never changed. Outstanding, man. That's the exact way you play back shoulders, making them throw it long. Long foul balls won't get you beat. Coach Brown, he's a young coach. That helps us a lot in the defense predominantly. I mean, it's just somebody we can relate to. Number two, you was finna get ragged on here. Them boys around, I ain't gonna lie now, they were ragging on the sideline while the play going on. And they say, oh my God. He gonna catch that ball. Great job punching it out. Cause it ain't how you start, it's how you what? It's how you finish. Really, really nice job. You like to hit, don't you? All right. That's how we roll. Lock and load. Make plays, man. Make plays. Wakey, wakey! Go. Middle. Middle. Ah. Oh. Three pointer. DNA, baby. Always be perfect. Drop through them knees. See it? Hut! Drop through the knees. Oh, I love it right there. That's a nice job. Dorian, he's an outstanding leader. He does an incredible job of running to the football. He's a bright kid. And if you put all that together, it's going to give you an opportunity to win. Find his hip. Go to his hip. There we go. Excellent right there, guys. That's nice. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's your, that's your hip right there. A little better today. Much better. Much better. Better attitude. Better attitude today. Better attitude today. It's all about attitude, man. It's amazing. You got one on ones next now. Let's play. You got to be perfect. You got to be perfect. Inside. More inside, baby. More inside. Run. Open. Ball. 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 There you go. Great finish. Yeah, two. Yeah, two. Two came to play today. Challenging me in the meeting room. You said what? Challenging me in the meeting room. It's about consistency. Yeah, we talked about that. Let's go do it again. Oh. Ah! Ah! Rush East. Very, very upbeat. Very excited. Uh, and loves the game of football. He's very, very passionate, and uh, I think he's going to be uh, one of the bright spots for us on defense. That's the way you play football. Nice break. Nice break. This blitz period, they're probably going to blitz. Back. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come on. Boom, had him, baby. Woo. There you go. Hey. There you go. You see that? Hey. That's speed, coach. That's speed. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for swag in this position. 
All right? Continue to play it with consistency, 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 every single damn play, every single damn day, all right? And I can promise you this, you're going to be a damn good defense. Them DBs came to play today. Come around and be proud of you. Take pride in the position that you guys are playing, man. It's the premier position in college football. Come off that ball, man. Smoke. A lot is expected out of this position. All right. Tuck. I'm dying to find out what our, our depth chart's going to look like. Who's going to be our starting five? All right. And who's going to be our backups? <laughs> Good. More fist going. I don't hear it. Didn't hear the hands. That was patty cake right there. I got to hear some hands. How fast can you play and how violent can we be? How violent can you be? Good, Cock. Good. Coach Leffert, he motivates us a lot. Like, he tells us every week that we're getting better. You can tell the difference. <coughs> Too easy. Too easy. Right. Makai, he's a special talent. When I played in the NFL, I stood back there and watched those other guys play. I was like, dude, you look, I mean, you're that guy. That demeanor, that temperament part, I think that's really going to separate him from a lot of people out there. I got to find out at some point during the camp, like, where's my side I can get my double teams from? Right here, you're talking to it. All right, you so y'all know, know. So, all right, so we'll be run dominant that side usually. Here we go, let's go. <laughs> Hey, run that ball behind me! Get up, run the ball! Get up, get up, get up, get fast. What, what side is the strong side of this group? Strong side right here, coach. You go to your left. Run plays to your left. Let's go! That's it. That's it. Good! Nice job! Nice job! Good! Good! Let's go again. Let's go again. Run behind me. Hey, I'm looking, as I'm watching that, I'm trying to find where can we run the ball? Who can we run the ball behind? That's what right I'm here. in my mind. That's what I, I, just, I don't to need here. to hear it. I just need to see it. I, I, I just need to see it. Well, that's all I need to see, and I'll know which side I need to run it to. That's all I'm looking for, guys. You guys should be like, hey, run the ball behind me. Right behind me. Touchdown. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. Hey, let's go 100%. 100%. I want some pissed off dudes wanting to come off the ball every play. <laughs> Turn it up, turn it up. Touchdown. Touchdown, good job. Nice job, ball. Oh, boy. Ah. Have a hunger and an appetite for every time when I'm coming out here, I'm trying to be the best version of me. And you can't let yourself stop you from being able to do that. You know what I'm saying? I really love coaching kids at this level. Because you're really taking a kid that's been around his family, and now the, the family is taking him to a place, basically dropping him off for somebody else to help finish that race. All right, dedication, who's up? Kyle, you're up. So, my why is my grandma. She uh, passed away from breast cancer, and that's her holding me. So, um, when I was growing up, I always thought I would make it to the league for her. And do it like ever since ever since she passed away, everything I do is for her. So when uh, breast cancer month come up, I always make sure I got the most pink on for everybody. So everything I do is for her. How long she's been passed away? Uh, about 10, 11 years. That's good. I appreciate you guys for telling your stories with that. I know sometimes it can be hard, man, talking about your past. Like there's been stuff in my life that I've just now begun to talk about like stuff that's happened to me growing up and stuff like that, because it's hard, man. I want them to see me as a human and not just as a coach, because I want that well-rounded person. My time with my kids, like, man, when I go home, I try my best to put my phone down, I hand it to my wife, because if you don't, man, like in our profession, it's always recruiting, it's something that you feel like you could be doing at work, but you gotta take time out for it. And that's like in here with all this, taking time out for each other. Like this is more important, sharing this and watching film. Because what we do in here, the, the, what we share is what we're gonna rely on and build the relationships on. This, when you have this, it's, it's special, man. And I am so thankful and grateful for that crew. I wanna make sure that when they think about their dad, it's like, man, he's the hardest worker I've ever seen in my life. 
all you guys got wonderful families. And we've all got up here and we talked about those people. But when you guys have kids, all right, you really start to really understand family, man. But that's my why, and it'll always be my why. So I want to make sure that I make those three people proud. And then that's, that's what I want to do, man, make them proud. And make it where they don't have to worry about a thing when it comes to money, when it comes to going to school, and, and create and give them a life that I think that they deserve. And so that's my why. Oh, man. Those kids would drive you nuts. All right, as we look at uh, the scrimmage today, we'll get out there right start off the bat, jump into the dynamic warm-up, and then we'll separate and whatever individual you guys want to do, you got 12 minutes. I mean, it's not, not going to be like a pre-game. I mean, it's, it's whatever you guys want to do for 12 minutes. We'll break off and get warmed up. And then we'll jump right into it. Ed, today for the scrimmage, we have some whiteboards, markers, and all that stuff on the sidelines. So if we want to talk to the guys. Anything else we're going to need for that scrimmage? I just need popcorn to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Popcorn to, to drink? Popcorn to drink. And a drink. My dog. All right, so after the, after the scrimmage today, we take pictures. How are they doing the team picture, Josh, you know? Like numerical or? Yeah, and, and we're doing that on the field? On the field, yes. Okay. All right, we're good. We'll go uh, with team meeting. Get after today. Prior to our first game, we always have a mock game where we're going through everything that we would do on game day. So we just get in our normal routine and start really honing in on putting together a great game plan. All right, guys, here we go. Today, this morning, you can kind of see what we're looking at right here. This is how we'll kind of do this, all right? The first group's going to get roughly eight plays, okay? But if let's say the offense goes three and out, we'll pull it back. We'll run some more plays till we get around eight plays. If the drive, our first drive goes 12 plays, because we're driving down the field, and we'll, it'll be 12 plays. So roughly eight plays whenever you get your opportunity to go out. When we come off the field, coaches will have time to make adjustments, uh, or you know, kind of talk with you guys that were just on the field, kind of talk through some things for about probably 45 seconds, and then we'll start with the second group, okay? You know, roughly 120 plays, okay, today for this, for this scrimmage. Main thing, guys, communicate out here today. The communication's gotta be key and then play your tails off. Play as hard as you can play out here today, and like this right here. Pulling for each other. Pulling each other up when it gets hard. Have that chip on your shoulder. Have each other's back, and we'll be victorious. Let's play fast and physical football all day long, all right? Yes, the way sir. you do it, you do it with execution. You do it with communication. And when you stop the run, we're going to pin our hands back, and we're going to get after that damn quarter like all day long. Everybody got it? Five, on three. One, two, three. Uh -huh. First group up. First group up. Let's go. Vance, you on there? All right, what we got, Sam? I'm repeating the play because I got my leak. I got my leak here. That's perfect. That's beautiful. All right, here we go. Hey, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, great job by Ford. Holy cow. First down. Hey, let's do it again. Hold on, do it again. Let's go again. Let's go again. Run behind me. I like that the offense is pretty much ran around the O-line. So if the O-line isn't working, the, o the whole offense isn't working. So we're pretty much putting the team on our backs. And I feel like I thrive better under pressure. Got to cut it up, man. You can't run back. You can't go outside. It ain't out there. Running the football and stopping the run has held the test of time of football. You can go to any era. If you can do those two things, you're usually going to have a pretty good football team. And so we've always believed in running the football and establishing the run. 
Yeah, right there. Beautiful. Yeah. There it is. Good. Good job on the nose right there. There's three things that are really important to me. Speed off the ball, toughness, and finish. And if those guys can do that over and over, we'll be able to compete with a lot of people. Let's go. Move his ass. Touchdown. Touchdown. That's a touchdown. Oh. Boom, my touchdown. That's it. We're going to the end zone. Over and over and over. <laughs> hey. We make our money, boy. <laughs> I let it slow, I let it fast. How are we looking though, other than that sack? Hmm? How are we looking other than that sack and that pressure? Y'all yeah, been good, y'all been straight. All we gotta do is keep moving the ball though. He gonna get the defense hype though, bro. I like that, bro. Oh. Ah! Ah! Good break. That's the way you play football. That's it. We want to get those guys to play base defense really, really fast and understand what to do. Being able to get turnovers and just causing havoc, you know, and and not letting the quarterback uh, just sit back there and throw the football and not giving them different coverages and disguise and things like that. So that's what we're about, and uh, and our kids are starting to gradually understand it. Catch that. Crazy man! Uh -huh. Too many times. You're tripping. Let's play. Play fast. You gotta be perfect. I got it. Come on, D. You gotta touch your speed. Oh, look at the over. Look at the over. He's doing double coverage. Oh! Get that! Go school! Go school! Come on, bro! That's the way you play football! Yes, sir! Safety got back. Oh, yeah, he wow. throws it right to him, man. Tutu's is open, he's open, hey, and he can't throw over the top. Puma, that's double coverage, because Tutu's wide open. There ain't nobody 20 yards around Tutu. My bad. Just a bad read. You gotta be able to trust your speed. I got, I got, I got on field speed. I ain't got 40 speed. Bro, Russ, Russ and what's the face are taking me. Literally, I, I see Russ double team man coming back. You got, to, yeah, you got time to talk right now. Talk to you guys right now. Talk to him. Go. All right, put him on. Yo. Check that. Day, day. Yo. Hey. Listen, we gonna go. I got to throw the ball at him. Give him a chance. We, we overthrew the guy again. You know what I'm saying? You trying to throw the ball, like, trying to lead and make it perfect. That one, you, you got to know your personnel. You got to give him a chance. OK? He's much taller than the other kid. Just give him a chance. Back shoulder to throw. Anything but that. Okay, we can't throw it 20 yards in front of him because that's definitely not gonna help us. You good? Take your time, I think he's ready. Take your time, you need to take your seat. Make a read and let's go with it, all right, buddy? Once back up, once, hey, once, once back up. Hey, let's pick it up, oh. Uh oh, it's my turn. I'm smelling the end zone, coach. Oh, is that locked? Huh? Uh, he stops locked, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. We'll be good bringing him across. Yeah. There we go. Cat's coming. The right tackle's got to get him now. Hey, watch the cowboy, cowboy. Bang him. Boom. Go, Dan. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, Dan. Got the head touchdown. Score. I don't know, three, coach. Ah. Should have been a touchdown. Now we got to finish strong in the red zone. Oh, he should pull this right off the bat. He did. There you go. Touchdown. 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 <laughs> Good job, boy. We're scoring each Yo, time. We're scoring each run. time. Yo, each time. We ain't going out like that. Hey, let go, Scope, baby. Yeah, let go. Put it in the end zone, man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
may have a chance right here. Come on down, save. He came down. There, go up. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Let's get it, baby. Okay, pull. Okay. C A R D S. C A R D S. Don't be the one to not paying attention to the details when you're out there on defense. Don't be that one where you're out of your gap. Don't be that guy. You get in the red zone, it's got to be good decision making. Got to. Got to be quick and decisive. Yeah, that is. Yeah, we're about to go score right here. Yep. Go score, go score, go score. Again, baby. Don't get it. I just went on. I just went on. 2-2, two, 2-2. Two, two, two. Watch 2-2. Two, two. Touchdown right here. Oh, number one right there, baby. Touchdown. That's what it's supposed to be looking like right there now. That's pretty right there. That was a Picasso hey, trip. painting. Go score, go score! Touchdown! Yeah! yeah. What are they talking about? Hey, did you want seven straight touchdowns? Absolutely. Oh, wow. <laughs> What you talking about? Get up! What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You're starting to see the camaraderie between the team. The offense is becoming one unit. The defense is becoming one unit. Like we have a lot to work on still, but everything's coming together. What's that noise, man? The purge. The Purge. What's that mean? Cody, Cody, wait. Oh, that movie? Yeah, the movie The Purge. It's a uh, tornado siren tornado practice. Sirens. Oh, tornado sirens? All right, listen up, guys. First of all, great job today in, in practice. Again, every day, you're going to face adversity. Just like down here uh, in red zone. Offense had the best of it in red zone. Who cares? Come back out, defense. Just put the ball down, we'll play ball. That's got to be your mentality every, every single time. The thing that we got to get a lot better at, and we all know this, is just the discipline. Lining up right, staying on sides, moving when the ball moves. We got nothing to do with, with X's and O's. That's the stuff we got to continue to clean up and get better. That's concentration, knowing the moment, knowing the situation. And that's why we're putting you in all these situations right here. Let's get better, let's learn from it. All right, break it down as a family. See you, coaches. Hey, family on three. One, two, three. Family. Family. There's your crew. They showed up. They showed up for look, 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 look. He's out. He's out. Hey. Oh. <laughs> that age right there, man. He's got to love it. Football isn't bigger than the actual people. And, and so to me, I think a huge responsibility for us as coaches is to really provide that for our, the, the kids as far as giving them that that home environment my wife truly embraces football being our extended family i want a kid to see me not only as a coach but as a husband and as a father because i think if you're around it and you see it every day i think that means something what we got going on over here trying to learn how to catch coach. two hands two hands two hands hey jordan you got your shoes on backwards buddy <laughs> he likes it backwards Coach Sad, he's like a, a an uncle to my kids. He comes over, hangs out with them. He's authentic. He's a family man. You ready? That is awesome. Right. Where's your eyes supposed to be? On the ball. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Quit moving. No. Oh! All right, Hudson. There we go. Two hands. Hey, there it is. There it is. Oh, he closed his eyes, Coach. Don't close your eyes. <laughs> He's bracing, yeah. You're always bracing because you never know when you're going to get hit. I always thought of Louisville as being a very special place. And that family approach that he brings in, to me, I think it's a perfect fit. There's so many things here that can make this a great place to be. You know, this can be a destination job for coaches, um, and this can be a place where recruits and players and families can come in here and never want to leave. They can come play here, go on a plan to NFL, and move back and live right here in Louisville. I just think it's that kind of place. Guys right up front here. 
On a knee, on a knee, on a knee. Right knee down, right knee down. We're ready to compete. The guys have worked hard all fall camp, and now it's time to go showcase to the whole country what Louisville football is all about. We shoot for an ACC championship, national championship in one year. So the goals are high. We're trying to turn it around quickly. The atmosphere, everybody's ready to get this thing rolling. Let's see what we got. September 2nd against Notre Dame. If you don't have goosebumps just thinking about that game, then you shouldn't be playing football. Like, these are the type of games that, like, you literally been thinking about since you were six years old. When we get to September 2nd, nothing's going to be harder than what we already did. It's going to be really fun this season. Are we taking a group shot right here? It's football. It's just the game we love. It's always one of those things. It's like we have to execute. Go out there, just, just get our swag back. I'm excited, man. I mean, the strides that we made uh, from day one, it was just night and day. I mean, the effort had gotten better. Now the guys understand it. It's go time. It's about us as a family. You know, we always talk about iron sharpens iron, and that's what we've been doing since we got here in day one. Now it's start time to using our tools against other people. And we start out one of the best teams in the country right here on, on national TV on Monday night. Nobody thinks you can go win, you know, so we're gonna give everything we have when we get out there and play, and, and hopefully we'll end up shocking some teams and shocking some people and winning a lot more games than they think we're gonna be able to win. All right, gentlemen, nice and straight. Don't move, sit down. Don't move, don't move, don't move. All right, on three, here we go, ready. I know we're in the ground floor now, but but I know this, I know everybody's pulling in the same direction. And in a few years, this will be a place where everybody will want to come and they'll want to you know, share in the excitement and the joy that we're building here at Louisville. One, two, and three.